Oh, hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's Bering. And I've got a story today about a climate protester who glued his hand to the road and could not get it back off. Oh, I love these stories. Quick sponsor. Bering, 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 Apple and other tech giants have a notorious history of banning apps they don't agree with, especially apps that revolve around free speech and privacy, like, say, uh, Twitter or Parler. That's why I highly recommend getting Virtual Shield, the number one privacy app that helps people get around censorship and get access to the apps they love the most before it's too late. Virtual Shield is my favourite top-rated VPN. It has exceptional speeds, a no-log policy, military-grade encryption, is US-based and the best choice for online privacy. Experience it yourself, free for 30 days by visiting virtualshield.com slash bear or clicking the link below. Enjoy 73% off for life this holiday season if you act now. I cannot stand climate protesters. I cannot stand most protesters. I mean, I think you've got a right to protest, but these douchebags, oh my god, these douchebags. So anyway, the Daily Mail reports, police are forced to dig up road to remove eco-zealot's hand after he stuck himself to tarmac using sand mixed with superglue during climate protest in Germany. <laughs> and look at this dickhead. <laughs> He's got a chunk of road stuck to his hand after he used sand and super glue, which is apparently a very potent mix. You can't unstick that. To glue his hand to the road. A German eco-activist stuck his hand to the road in mains with super glue and sand. German authorities used power tools to remove the tarmac around his hand. The man was walked away from the scene still with the tarmac glued to his hand. And look, it's his right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> oh, God. I hope he's got a very understanding girlfriend or he's up for a frustrating few years because I don't think he's going to be able to remove that. I think his hand's coming off. A German eco-activist who glued himself to the road in Mainz had to have the tarmac around his hand removed after emergency workers were unable to free him. A member of Let's D D D Generation, whatever that means, Germany's vision of Just Stop Oil reportedly stuck his hand to the road using super glue mixed with sand, meaning the authorities could not dissolve the glue. Power tools had to be brought out to cut the area around his hand, while a video of the event also shows several failed attempts at dissolving and filing away the glue. After the block of tarmac was cut away, the man was able to stand up and walk around with the chunk of road still glued to his hand. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, I guess it's no nut season for you forever, dickhead. The man did not appear to be detained by police after the protest, and a photo posted by Let's D Generation in the Beninging showed him sat inside a building with a block of tarmac glued to his hand. The condition of the man's hand is not yet known, as Let's D D Generation have not posted any further updates on the issue. In the Beninging. The eco activist group tweeted on December 9 when the event took place. In Mains, the traffic was stopped. <laughs> you get what you deserve. I'll Jeez. tell you what you get. Call the police. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> Emissions from the transport sector are persistently high and contribute to the destruction of our civilization. We continue and call on all fellow human beings to join us. Together we can move politics to action. Just the day before, activists from the group glued themselves to the runways of Munich Airport and Berlin Airport. The group have also deployed similar tactics to just stop, such as spraying buildings with orange paint and throwing flour over artworks. Well, like I said, you get what you deserve. Glue your hand to a road, you're gonna have some fucking road on your hand. Live with it, motherfucker. All right, hard segue. As you can tell, I do not like activists. I don't like climate activists. I don't like animal activists. I think activists are just And here's something funny that happened at London's Salt Bay Steak Restaurant. And here is the following interview with Piers Morgan of Sky News. Well, joining me uh, now is Animal Rebellion spokesman Nathan McGovern and uh, somebody... Wow, this guy doesn't look like a smug little motherfucker at all. He's just so likeable. Look at him. Uh, good to see you both. Uh, Nathan, start with you. Um, 
I, I don't like vegans very much. I don't think any of you are oh, no. very healthy. Oh, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, that's because you know you're a cockhead. I've got nothing against vegans. I just don't like militant vegans. If I want to eat bacon, I'll eat bacon. If I want to eat beef, I'll eat beef. Fuck off. Oh, I think you all look pretty pasty-faced and unhealthy to me. Um, all right, listen, I don't like to comment on people's appearances, but you look like a pasty, white, gay, blue-tongued lizard from the 80s. For fuck's sake. Stop doing that. What I don't do is I don't go running into vegan restaurants and start screaming abuse at you all and have to be pulled out by people because you're ruining everyone's fun. Why do you do that to meat eaters? Well, Piers, you've started on an absolute blind today. I actually brought a little game with me for the, me, Aldo, perhaps, the audience to play. It's a Piers Morgan a vegan bingo. Maybe we get a zoom on that from the camera. And you've actually just ticked off one straight away. I'll just go with that. We're looking at row or a column already. Mm. So the thing is... Yeah, I don't even want to know what the thing is. You're a little cock. You bought in a Pierce Morgan bingo card. Oh, get fucked. This little dick thinks he has the right to invade people's dinners. You take your wife out to a nice restaurant, this little fucker's going to come and protest. Because you don't meet his moral standards. You want some salami and crackers for lunch? This little shite is going to spray paint or some shit over you. I don't like these people. I'm not going through the full clip, but I'll link it below. You can watch it. It's infuriating. Anyway. I'm going to leave it there. I've been bearing. You've been you. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comments section or at my super duper gay half step brother in law's Twitter account, B Skills. That's with three L's and an at at the start. Ta ta. Goodbye. Recession, session.